Hey Marvelites, Nuff said Special Agent Phil Parrish here. Let's talk some Marvel Comics, specifically the new releases for the week of December 10th, 2014. Spoiler alert! If you don't want to hear spoilers, skip the rest of this alert. Ready, set, go! Avengers X-Men Axis number 7 begins with a battle between the inverted, now evil X-Men and the inverted, now good former villains who are working as Steve Rogers Avengers. As the battle rages, Spider-Man and Deadpool attempt to disarm the gene bomb that the X-Men and Apocalypse have built. The next scene is the inverted Scarlet Witch vs Quicksilver and Magneto. The witch casts a spell to hurt her bloodline and, major spoiler, the spell does not affect Magneto, so Magneto is not the biological father of Quicksilver or the Scarlet Witch. Doctor Doom, who is aiding Quicksilver and Magneto, flees through a portal with the witch promising that his country of Latveria will burn. Next we see the inverted Iron Man, Sam Wilson, Captain America, Hulk, Thor, Luke Cage, and Medusa come to the decision that they must work together to defeat and kill the X-Men. And finally, we go back to Manhattan as Apocalypse pulls Deadpool's head from his body as the gene bomb counts down to one. Amazing Spider-Man 11 is part 3 of Spider-Verse. It begins with a battle between the Peter Parker Amazing Spider-Man vs. the Otto Octavius Superior Spider-Man for leadership of all the Spider-Men. Peter wins. The Spider-Men regroup as some go to find other Spider-Men in other universes, and then Inheritors arrive on Earth-13 to attack the main force of Spider-Men, including the father of the Inheritors, Solus. We see that even when an Inheritor dies, he is reborn in a new clone body. Solus kills the spider's secret weapon, the Spider-Man of Earth-13 who had kept the cosmic Enigma Force power, and the issue ends as the Inheritors find the Scion they had been looking for, the baby brother of Mayday Parker, Spider-Girl. Amazing Spider-Man Annual 1 has two stories. In the first one, we see Spider-Man try to return a cell phone to a couple that has lost it, but keeps getting interrupted by various crimes and supervillains. The final story sees Spider-Man freak out a group of supervillains as he defeats them without saying a word. In the last page, it is revealed that he was quiet due to laryngitis. Avengers 39 is part one of You Can't Win. This story continues the glimpse into the future as we see the continuing conflict between Steve Rogers' S.H.I.E.L.D. team and Reed Richards' Illuminati. The issue ends with a third party ordering Steve and S.H.I.E.L.D. to stand down, Sunspot and Cannonball's Avengers team. Well, you know the drill by now. In five months, time runs out. Amazing X-Men 14 is an Axis tie-in. The evil inverted Nightcrawler travels to Germany and attempts to kill as many people as he can for revenge against the people who had persecuted him earlier in life. The only person stopping him from becoming a murderer? The now good, inverted mystique. Uncanny X-Men Annual 1 reveals the story of where the time-controlling, time-jumping X-Men, Eva Bell, went when she disappeared a few months back for only minutes, but seemed to age a few years. After bouncing through the past, Eva lands in the year 2099 where she stays for a few years and has a family, but a battle with a mystical entity and the X-Man magic, that era Sorcerer Supreme, forces Eva to time jump again, this time in the prehistoric times. This story continues in the upcoming all new X-Men Annual 1. Guardians of the Galaxy Annual 1 is the story of the Guardians, Captain Marvel, and Agent Venom getting thrown into the middle of a battle between an army of Skrulls and a shield her helicarrier commanded by Nick Fury in the middle of space. It turns out at the end of the story that all the shield agents including Fury are LMDs and the battle between the two forces has been ongoing for years. The two forces travel on, continuing their battle at the end of the issue, leaving a group of confused guardians behind. And finally, Thor 3 continues the story of the battle between the new female Thor and the Frost Giants. After being separated from Mjolnir, she is about to change back into... Well, we don't know who yet, but female Thor regains the hammer in time and defeats the Frost Giants. The issue ends with a figure approaching her. It's the original Thor, and he tells his successor to drop his hammer or know the wrath of Thor. Well, that's all for this time. Remember, you too can be part of the Nuff Said Army. Just download and listen to the Nuff Said Podcast, the Super Connectivity Podcast, 
and this Marvel Roundup every week. Remember, comic books make great Christmas presents. Nuff said.